2012 survey indicates that over 500,000 films have been published worldwide. If you assume that a typical movie is about an hour and a half, that means that there are over 85 full years of content to be seen. Because of this, there are bound to be some extremely classic films that most people have likely overlooked, many of which are actually marketed to children. So without further ado, here are 5 terrifying classic cartoon shows. Number 5 in 1929, Disney released a short cartoon titled Hell's Bells as part of their widely popular Silly Symphony series. The cartoon was shown worldwide in a blatant attempt to remind children what may happen to their spirits if they choose not to follow the guidelines of traditional Christianity. The film shows the devil and his demonic henchmen laughing as they torture others. In fact, in one scene we can see a band performing in the background, and if you look closely you can see that the bass instrument is actually the spine of some poor victim. In another, the devil is shown asking two of his demons to fetch him something to drink. They then head over to a cow and begin squeezing its udders, to which the cow produces pure fire rather than milk. The demons bring Satan his drink back and immediately afterward he feeds one of them to his dog. This cartoon is enough to freak out a present day adult, but the fact that this film is targeted to children from 1929 is just a bit strange. Take a look at a few clips from the show. Number 4 A Christmas Carol is a holiday classic for most families. Ebenezer Scrooge's story has been translated into many different forms, one of them even starring Daffy Duck. However, this particular version is less heartwarming and more terrifying than the original. Many of the core story elements have remained the same, so it's a bit hard to explain exactly what makes this version so creepy without seeing it for yourself. But the illustrators of this version really took a lot of creative liberty on this one. The film is 25 minutes long and originally aired in 1972. In fact, the show actually won an Oscar that same year for Best Animated Television Show.
everybody. What do you want with me? March. You don't believe in me. <laughs> I don't. Because you, 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 you may be an undigested bit of beef, a fragment of an underdone potato. <laughs> There's more of gravy than of grave about you. <laughs> Number 3. In 1932, Ed Eshball Studios released a short film called The Snowman. The show tells the story of a young Eskimo boy building a snowman and then mistakenly bringing that snowman to life. As the show begins, we're introduced to the Eskimo boy as well as his Arctic friends. The group begin to build a snowman but notice one problem. They can't interact with him. They then perform an elaborate dance ritual to bring the snowman to life, after which he wreaks havoc on the entire town. The boy is eventually forced to build a machine that melts the snowman in order to save his friends and village from destruction. The moral of this story remains a bit unclear, so let us know your theories in the comments. Number 2 In 1932, a knockoff of Snow White was created, starring Betty Boop. Betty Boop is known for her long, dark hair, scandalous demeanor, and eccentric world in which she lives. When you combine this with a classic fairy tale, you're honestly destined for greatness. In the film, we're greeted with so many unexplainable circumstances. For example, one scene shows a few demons playing poker. Another shows a cow tickling a piano that's burning in what appears to be hell. And in another, a skeleton of a dinosaur is trying on pants. Have a look for yourself.
number one. In 1985, Disney released a feature film called The Black Cauldron. The movie's main antagonist was a man by the name of the Horned King. It's made known that the Horned King wants to find the Black Cauldron so that he can release an army of undead minions upon the world, which he appropriately dubbed the Cauldron Born. While the premise of this movie does seem a bit cliché, it's definitely one that you need to watch to fully enjoy the creep factor. Sadly, Disney still holds the copyright for the show so we can't show you any clips of it. However, I strongly urge you to check it out, as the full-length movie is available on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to keep updated with our videos.